Hello friends and wine lovers. I am in Massachusetts. It is the day after Easter. I'm currently sitting in my car, which lives in Massachusetts right now because I haven't driven it across country. And we are going to do some New Hampshire slash Massachusetts, New England wine tasting. I'm sitting at my parents' house. I'm waiting for uh, my boyfriend to come out of the house. And once he does, we're gonna get on the road. I what the name of the first place we're going. Uh, I think it begins with an F. It's like a Italian name, but we will find out soon enough. We're gonna go to two New Hampshire wineries today. I'm gonna try to do a few Massachusetts wineries today, also, or, or not today, not too many wineries. We're gonna do, um, try to do, um, a bunch more this week, but today we're just gonna do two and we're gonna see what New Hampshire wine is like. It's very warm. I would say it's probably, I actually have no freaking clue how warm it is, but it's definitely in the high 70s, if not low 80s. It is very warm. Okay, hopefully we find some winners, some New Hampshire wines. New Hampshire. New Hampshire is not known for its wine, but you never know what we might find. So I'm still waiting in the car. Uh, he hasn't come out yet. I'm wondering if he maybe doesn't know that I'm out here waiting for him. Um, so I'd probably have to go inside and tell him. I did look up the first winery that we're going to go to, and it's called Fulcino. Fulcino Vineyard. And it is in Hollis, New Hampshire, which is about, so it's about 20 minutes from my parents' house. And so yeah, Fulcino's in Hollis, New Hampshire is the first place we're going and I'm going to go inside and get him so that we can get going. Okay. We ended up just getting one bottle because it was their 10 year anniversary wine. Um, tried a lot of really interesting stuff. Um, I Kind of different than what I expected it to be. Uh, I liked their rosé quite a bit called Amour. So they had wines that, that, that were from the grapes that were from here and then they had um, blends. Blends, and then they also had some that were grapes from Italy that they then then That's they really macerated the grapes here, yeah. and then uh, so I actually kind of liked the the wines that the grapes came from Italy a bit more than the ones from the grapes here it had this slightly vinegary taste. To it was them. a little mediciney. So, yeah, they were a little bit mediciney, mediciney, the but they weren't bad. Yeah. They're actually better than I thought they were going to be for New Hampshire wine, wouldn't yeah, you say? Yeah, and the Chardonnay was th that they had was quite good. I liked it. And then the mm -hmm. one that started with a P, which one was that? Their Chardonnay was good. I thought it was the Siege. The Siege. Champagne. But their 10th uh, anniversary wine, it was like a sort of a more light port. Really good. That's what we got, and we're going to share that with my parents. Um, hopefully my mom will like it. She doesn't really like wine. So now we're going to go to the next, the next place. Which is? Which is? I don't remember the name! <laughs> This is blueberry wine, and it's blueberry fruit wine, and I'm gonna try it for the first time. He said it was gonna taste like a Merlot. Pretty much does taste like a Merlot, but it's all blueberries. It's blueberry wine. It's the color of blueberries. Blueberry wine. Really good. 
So I never filmed a follow-up to um, our wine tasting adventure yesterday. Um, so I'm out running an errand, actually picking up some wine. I also got a paper cut this morning. Not only did I get a terrible paper cut, look at this band-aid. It's not functioning. It's terrible. Um, it was one of those paper cuts too where like you put your hand inside your purse and then like your purse bites you and you're like what the heck I wanted to talk a little bit more about um, the wine tasting we did yesterday um, I didn't really do a follow-up at the end we went to Best Buy um, after the last place La Belle which we really loved and then we went home my mom cooked this amazing dinner and we were just pooped exhausted. We opened one of the bottles of wine um, that we got from Fulcino's and then I was just like, oh, my face was a mess. It is now several hours later from the last clip you just watched, but I was filming it and I was like, I am so hungry. I was famished and I was like, oh, it's because I didn't eat any breakfast and it was like, maybe like 12 or noon when I filmed that and I've been running around and I was like wow I am I'm am famished I need to eat something so I, I was like I can't think about wine on an empty stomach so now it's almost three o'clock and I um, ran some errands and I got some lunch I ate at Panera and it was delicious and I also picked up some wine that I want to show you got this um rare earth oh I went to Trader Joe's got this rare earth uh California Cabernet and it's organic, if you can see that. We are dedicated to organic farming that sustains wildlife and its habitats and promotes a healthier environment. Our organically grown Cabernet Sauvignon displays deep black currant and cedar aroma, is medium bodied with vanilla and intense rich black cherry flavors. Um, this woman was there and she was like, do you have this thing, Rare Earth? And he's like, yeah, we do this wine, Rare Earth. And he was like, yeah, we don't usually have it because when we get it, it sells out immediately. Because I think it's like, there's our receipts. Um, for an organic red wine, it's $8, so that explains why it sells out so quickly. And, um, today this guy, Zach, helped me, and he said, I said, what, I said, I think something just happened to my battery. I'm running out of battery. Um, I said, what is your favorite wine? And he said, being a crackly package, crinkly package monster. Anyway, I asked Zach, I said, what's your favorite wine? He said, what's my favorite or which one comes home the most frequently? He said, because my most favorite is a $75 bottle of wine. I forgot to take a picture of what it was, so I don't know, I can't tell you, that was really dumb. But he said, the one that comes home the most frequently is the Tribunal. It's a red wine, North Coast, so basically from where I live. Um, but I'd never heard of it before. And he said that it comes home with him all the time. And so I'm going to bring one of these, maybe both, to my cousin and his wife, Rebecca. And, oh yes, so let's start talking about yesterday. So I sort of did a recap already in the car yesterday about Fulcino's. It's definitely much more of a like mom and pop place. You're at, you're, you go to their home um, where they live. Um, it definitely, you know, is not as much of a sort of commercial retail place as the second place we went to, La Belle. The wines, you know, there weren't, a lot of them I didn't like that much. They weren't terrible, but there would never be anything that I would reach for or buy on a regular basis. Um, a lot of them had like this sort of medicinal, um, even some of them were a little bit vinegary. Um, so it's just not, not my favorite. However, that 10th anniversary wine I mentioned was very good and then we had it last night. I would definitely say that it is, even though it is not intentionally a port it went much better with my dessert than it went with my dinner so um if for whatever reason you do end up at Fulcino's and you do end up getting their 10th anniversary wine I would say that it is um much more of a dessert port type wine it was $40 and that's kind of unless it's something that's just like so outrageously good and like I'm never gonna have a chance to get a bottle like 40 is on my max of just like let's get this bottle because we liked it um, but it was the thing that I liked the most and so I wanted to get something that I could share um, with my parents and show it to them because they're they live locally next I want to talk about the bell because I didn't in my videos I didn't um, 
or like give as much of an update. We had a wonderful time there, maybe too good of a time. We tried 20 wines and they have a lot of fruit wine, blueberry wine, apple wine, pear wine. Um, I actually um, saved the little um, wine tasting thing here. What you do is when you get there, you get to pick um, you either get to try um, five wines for eight dollars or ten wine, ten tastes, ten different wines for thirteen dollars. So we obviously went with the thirteen dollar one and we each tried different wines so that we could try twenty wines. Um, so I did the Chardonnay, which was very good. I mean, I don't like Chardonnay and I always say this, but this, their Chardonnay is was fantastic. Um, they had these two Saval, Saval Blanc and um, Saval Blanc Winemakers Reserve. They are both good, very citrusy, lemon, um, grapefruit, super, I mean, just summer day, summer day in a bottle. Um, I also had the dry pear, which was wonderful. I mean, it's just, it's pear, it's fermented pear. Same process as they do with, with grapes, just with pears. Um, Kyle tried the Riesling and really loved it, and we ended up getting a bottle of that because we kind of both agreed that was really the best. The spiced winter pear wine, this is what the um, the sommelier who was helping us called it. It's it's Christmas Eve in a bottle. The description, extraordinarily fragrant and floral with spicy ginger and orange notes, this elegant pear wine is perfect after your favorite meal and to complement an array of after dinner treats. But really, I would only drink that wine at Christmas because it just is so, it just reminds me so much of Christmas. Um, I also have the dry blueberry wine, which you saw me drink in the video. Um, I don't look very, in the video, I don't look very enthusiastic about it, but I thought it was really good. I guess that's just more my like thinking about it face, but I loved it. We also got to try um, one of their sort of special blueberry wine blends at the very end. It was like an extra. Um, I would have, next time we go, I'm going to buy, buy a bottle of that. Um, we didn't go crazy because we're only here for a few days and I didn't want to have a ton of wine hanging out at my parents' house. Um, so then we, I tried the Red Alchemy, which was very much like a Pinot Noir, and I really liked that. Cranberry wine was super tart. Um, and then um, I think it was, we had another one. Oh, we had the Corazon, which has, which is the Saval, the white wine Saval, and the red wine, the um, red raspberry wine that was super interesting really good there's not a single wine that I disliked or even was like mm, I'm not so sure about that um, there are some that I could pass on um, but I would say like 98% of what I tried I would not be disappointed if someone bought me a bottle of wine from there and just overall, the grounds at uh, La Belle were gorgeous. They have an um, event room. We can have like 300, up to 300 people, I think. Uh, La Belle has won a lot of wine awards, um, but they entered a contest and they um, they won best red wine in New England. The fruit has to be grown in New England and we couldn't try it because they were sold out, which is amazing for them. Um, so I really can't say enough about LaBelle. LaBelle Winery, If I when I make a list of the top wineries outside of Northern California, this will be high on the list. And guys, look at this day. Look at these, look at these clouds and the blue. It's stunning. It's a little bit cooler than it was yesterday, but now I gotta drive home and I got to figure out what time we're going to see my cousin. Um, all right, talk to you guys next time.